Dapp now integrates with another awesome email marketing system called Active Campaign. This integration works both ways. You can use an Active Campaign web form and integrate it with Dapp in such a way that when the users sign up through this form, they will automatically get added to your free product in Dapp. Or you can generate the free sign up form in Dapp for your free product and when the users sign up through the Dapp form, they will automatically get added to the configured Active Campaign list. You can also integrate your paid products with Active Campaign in such a way so when your subscribers are added to the DAP product that they purchased, DAP will automatically add them to the configured Active Campaign list automatically. If you want all your users to be added to a single Active Campaign list, you can do that. Or if you want to segment your users and put them in different lists based on their membership level or product in DAP, you can do that as well. Let's take a look at how you can integrate an Active Campaign generated web form with the product and app. First step is to create your list in Active Campaign. Once you have done that, go to Integrations Forms to generate your web form. After you have created your web form, click on Subscriptions to integrate that web form with the product and app. Now select Subscription Completed Confirmation tab. After the user successfully sign up, they are going to receive a confirmation email from Active Campaign that allows them to complete their activation. When they click on the activation link, they can get redirected to whatever you specify here under redirect to URL instead. So click on redirect to URL instead and here you can specify the URL of the DAP script. Now this part yoursite.com, replace it with the name of your site. This part will remain the same. Product ID number, specify the ID number of the DAP product that you want to integrate with that web form and redirect equals here you can specify the URL of the page where you want the users to land when they click on that confirmation link. Now if it's a double opt-in product in DAP, the users are not going to get logged into DAP but they are going to get redirected to this page. Now if it's a single opt-in product in DAP, the users are going to get automatically logged in when they click on the confirmation link and then they will get redirected to whatever you specify here. Now let's take a look at how you can integrate your DAP product to an active campaign list. If you want to integrate your paid products and app to Active Campaign in such a way that when a user purchases a product and app, they are automatically subscribed to the configured list in Active Campaign, then you need two things from your Active Campaign account. You need the API key and you need the list ID. To get the API key, you can click on My Settings and then click on API tab and you can get your API key from there. To get the list ID, if you hover over your list you will find it right here, show up right here. So in this case the list ID was 1. So you can get your list ID and you can get your API key from your Active Campaign account and then you can go to the DAP products page and select the notifications tab for that product that you're looking to integrate with Active Campaign and then you can use this format to integrate. That. The name is always going to be Active Campaign followed by a colon followed by your account in Active Campaign. So whatever is your account name in Active Campaign, just, in, just replace your account with that. And then this is always going to be the same followed by a colon followed by the API key followed by the list ID. Everything is separated delimited by a colon. That's it. So when a user is added to DAP, DAP is going to automatically add them to this active campaign list. Whatever is the list ID, you specify it right here. When a user is being removed from that product in DAP, DAP will also automatically remove that user from that active campaign list. Again, it's the same format. And uh, once this happens, the user is going to automatically be removed from that list in active campaign. This is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.